the long awaited meatball video. We are finally gonna share how to make Mama Pappas' meatballs. Yes, we're in Mama's kitchen today. Um, we are. Somebody has a birthday coming up and they had a request for meatballs, so we're gonna make Mama's meatballs. I haven't had a meatball sub in honestly a couple months, and yeah. if you guys know, you probably know, because I have an obsession with meatball subs, um, I love them. And you guys always ask, for the full-on meatball recipe, because I've shared how we like do it with the buns and everything, but today we're gonna do it from scratch, so. All right, let's start. I like to use a mixture of like a ground chuck and like a sirloin beef, so I got about a pound of ground chuck and then about a third of sirloin meat. Why do you mix them? I just think it gives it more flavor. As okay. I saw someone give a tip that one time so I'm just I got my meat sitting I usually let my meat sit out like 30 minutes before I start to make them so it just kind of comes to room temperature um, so in the meantime we're gonna cook up the onion so I saved one part of the onion and I'll show what we're gonna do with that we're gonna grate it up and put it into the meat but the other part of the onion I'm gonna dice it up and just saute it in a little bit of olive oil just to kind of cook them through so I'm gonna start heating up the pan Add a little drizzle of olive oil. And then I got about a little over half a cup of diced onions that we're gonna just cook up. Okay, so I have my food processor and then use any leftover bread you have. So I have two slices of bread. We're gonna throw it in the food processor. Does it have to be white bread? Yes, but any kind of white bread. Okay, so we made our own breadcrumbs. What is that used for? You use it inside the meatballs. Okay. So I'm going to use this with a little bit of an Italian style breadcrumb. I feel like this just makes the meatballs softer. Um, I don't normally measure, so this is like... <laughs> <laughs> Hard to I'm give step by I'm step. I'm put on the spot right now, so... Alright, so we got the meat sitting. And the trick is not to overwork your meat. So I have this little fancy tool that Steps use, everyone wants to know where it's from. You can get it on Amazon, but I use it for everything. Bread, making pancake batter. So the other part of the onion, I told you to save a chunk of, we're gonna grate some of that into the meat. Um, and it kind of makes like a onion juice, which Ooh. also helps the meat stay nice and moist. So you can see it coming off. Onion juice. Into the... <laughs> Some into flavor. The meat. Yeah. Yeah. So I cooked up the onions. Oh my gosh, it's getting hot. Um, so I, I kind of caramelized them a little bit. So Smells we're gonna so good. Dump this into. And you want to cut up your onions really small so yeah, your meatball like isn't chunky. So we got some cooked onion in there and some onion. raw onion juice. <laughs> Cookie, do you want to give me paw? Thank you. Now I'm gonna add some garlic powder. We're gonna just give it a nice sprinkle. And then some salt and pepper. Cute little salt spoons. <laughs> yeah, these are cute. And then uh, some black pepper. So I'm gonna give it a quick stir. Just kind of mix the onions into the meat. And then now I'm going to add the egg which I'm gonna whisk it up first a little bit. So we're gonna crack it in a separate bowl and whisk that thing up. Doesn't have to be completely, but just kind of broken up. And we'll add that. And I like to add a little water to the meat mixture. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to the egg. And now the wet's going in like that. Okay. Now we're gonna stir in the egg. Make sure it's all kind of mixed in. Then we're gonna add the breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, and a little bit of the Italian style breadcrumbs. Next, we're gonna start with about a half a cup of those breadcrumbs that we made ourselves. So I'm gonna sprinkle that in. I kind of eyeball it, but like you can see what it's looking like. I'm gonna add about we're going to start with one tablespoon. We'll see how it looks. One tablespoon of that. And then a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. 
Okay, and then we're gonna mix it. And then the final step is we're gonna add some fresh parsley. You can use dried parsley, but I happen to use this kind. We should pick some from the garden. I don't know if you'd have enough, mm. but yeah. Um, but For some color? Yeah, I got about a tablespoon. We're gonna throw that in. I'm gonna kind of mix it up. And then just another little splash of water. So then it should look like this. You could see the breadcrumbs a little bit. You could see the specks of parsley. Yeah. A little bit of everything. It's not too crummy. No. You want to do like whatever your meat ratio is. I usually try and do about a third of like the breadcrumb to the meat ratio, if that makes sense. I didn't get that, but maybe someone else would. <laughs> like instead of doing like half of breadcrumbs and a half, like. The, the oh. stuff adding into it. I usually do about like a third of that to the meat mixture. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. So, so that's that. Any leftover breadcrumbs, you could toast it up. You can toss it on your mac and cheese. You can toss it on some fish, whatever. So you could just Yeah, you save could season it. it and use it yeah. as any crust for chicken yeah. or whatever you want. All right, so now we're gonna roll them. And I add a, a little water in a bowl. This is to dip your hands in, get them a little wet, and then when you take up the meat, you roll it, and they're nice and smooth. <laughs> nice. So you can make them any size you want. We're gonna bake ours at like 425 for about 25, 30 minutes. Some people brown them on the stove. I just think that's more messy, so I've just been doing them in the oven. And mm -hmm. Yeah, you can make them smaller if you want to use them for slider buns, like little rolls. They shrink up when they cook because the fat comes out of them. So, I mean, if you make them really big, some people like them big. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it depends what you're using it for. If you're just using it for like a little like appetizer platter, if you make one big meatball. With the melted cheese on mm -hmm, it. With bread on the side. I know restaurants do that. So, yep, you could do this however you'd like, but that's how you make the meat. <laughs> there we go. We finally shared. Is this recipe from Pinterest or? No, I mean, it's kind of like I've always enjoyed watching cooking shows over the years. So, I feel like I've just learned tips from Rachel Ray. There was like some, you know, Emeril Lagasse. And then I just kind of made my own version of. Mm. Oh, this is the top secret <laughs> recipe. <laughs> no, but I mean, you guys, I mean, honestly, I mean, I, I don't really crave meatballs. Her and her dad do, so <laughs> they like them, so I'll make them, but. Yeah, and after having these ones, because I love meatball subs. It's one of my favorite foods, and I'll order them at restaurants sometimes. And you know what? I never really like them. Like, they just taste so different. Well, some people put sausage in the meat we're not yeah uh, like that some people put like those some kind of seeds in there like a fennel seed That's yeah like sometimes it tastes like sausage turkey yeah. sometimes it's like it tastes like meatloaf i don't know but these meatballs mm. sometimes the meat's like i don't know like that like dense or something mm -hmm. yeah so you don't want to like overwork your meat the trick is just to lightly don't handle it as much. The less you handle it, the better. They say that like with everything, even pancake batter. <laughs> All right, I got 20 meatballs we made. Uh, mine are probably about uh, one and a half and to a, two yeah, inch inch size. And a half. Little, uh, little balls. <laughs> I just give them another little sprinkle of some salt. My cute little shakers from the thrift store. Oh, those are cute. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Yeah. They just put like a little, like light, dough, little, like, little yeah. spritz. Or sometimes they're a little, and then a little bit more of the parsley. I just kind of like. Ooh, pretty. On the top, and then they're gonna go in the oven. I'm excited. Mmm. It was uh, the bachelor that made me want a meatball so bad. That guy bringing in that big meatball sub. Going in. What temp? What time? I got them at 425 and we're going to check them at 25 minutes Okay. see how they're looking. Okay, 25 minutes. Here's how the meatballs look. Sizzling. You can always check them to make their, sure they're at 160, but 
Yeah, these oh, are yeah. done. <laughs> done. Mmm, all the juices. Well, that's the fat. Tonight we're gonna make some meatball subs. So whatever your favorite spaghetti sauce is, marinara, whatever, throw that in a crock pot. So I got that going. And then we're gonna drop in the meatballs. Mmm. I'm probably gonna do about maybe 12 and then I'll freeze the rest. And we're gonna add some extra garlic in there because we love garlic. I like big chunks of garlic to be in my sauce. So we're gonna stir that up. And the garlic gets nice and soft when it's in the crock pot. So then we're gonna add some garlic pieces. Mm -hmm. And then this is where I add a little bit of some dried parsley, dried oregano, dried basil. And then you just let it simmer till dinner time. And this will make your house smell so good. We'll get back to you guys when it's time to make some subs. It's dinner time. Let's get these sub buns ready. So we have some garlic, butter, and olive oil in this pan, and it's just been simmering. So with this garlic butter, we are going to put this on the buns. So just put it on the inside. Some Parmesan cheese, a little bit of that. A little sprinkle of that, and then we're using provolone slices. I like the thin, they melt faster. So we like it cheesy, and because this is really thin cheese, we're doing top and bottom. Just gonna throw this in the oven for a few minutes at 450 to get the buns toasted and the cheese melty. Buns are ready, let's load it up with some meatballs. So like three on each one. Mmm, perfect. And then we also have some shredded mozzarella cheese to put on top. Can't get enough cheese. Then we brush it with a little bit more of the garlic butter. And I sprinkle it with this sandwich sprinkle. Sandwich sprinkle. You could use Italian seasoning, yeah. whatever. You like, mm -hmm. just gives it some flavor. And that's it. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh yes, a meatball sub. What a delicious treat. <laughs> I already dug into mine. Very tasty. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks mom for sharing the recipe. Thanks for watching.